Hi guys, quick video here to show you how to set up your DocSeagull Wi-Fi scanner. It's a fairly straightforward process, but I thought this video might help a few folks. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the website getdocsee.com. And here what you'll be able to do is then download the software and go through the setup guide if you so desire. So go ahead and click on Doxy Customer Care here at the bottom. Once you get to this page, choose the scanner that you have. In my case, it's the Doxy Go Wi-Fi scanner. I already have the software installed, but what you're going to want to do is download the appropriate software package for either Windows or your Mac system. As you can see in the inlaid video here, I have my Doxy plugged in. I haven't done anything to the hardware yet, so I'm actually going to remove this one piece of plastic here. That'll be the one thing you'll have to do before you start using your scanner regularly. Um, otherwise, it's pretty much ready to go. You'll probably want to plug it in and put a charge on it. If it's your first time setting up your Doxy, you're going to want to grab the calibration card. If it hasn't been calibrated before, this is an important step. If it has, you won't need to do this. The calibration card looks like this, and it comes with your scanner. It has an arrow and some bars on it. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and turn the Doxy on by just pressing and holding the power button. That'll get the green light flashing. As soon as the green light finishes flashing, that means your Doxy is uh, ready to start scanning. So now the green light's on, it's ready to go. So we're going to take the calibration card and we're just going to feed it in with the arrow facing forward, as you might expect, as far over to the left as we can. Doxy will notice that it's calibration card based on the bars on the card itself, and now you'll see it calibrating for use. It feeds it through and that's all there really is to it. Then we can store this calibration card for future use. Now I'm going to work under the assumption that you've downloaded and you've installed the software. You've turned on and plugged in your scanner and ran the calibration card through the scanner. So at this point, your scanner is set up and ready to use. You can start scanning documents immediately and they'll be stored in the internal memory of the Doxy. What I'm going to show now is the way you set up the scanner with your home network and I'm going to connect the scanner to my home router. That way whenever I turn on the Wi-Fi function of the scanner I'll be able to access it from any of my connected devices. As you'll see here I've pulled up the help section on the Wi-Fi setup. It does note that the default function for the Doxy Wi-Fi button is for the Doxy itself to create a Wi-Fi network for you to connect to. Since I use my scanner at home, I'm interested in having the scanner connected to my router, not creating its own network and then having to connect to that network with my computer. So we're going to go through the steps to set it up to connect to our router. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to enable Wi-Fi on your Doxy. The way we're going to do that is we're just going to reach on the back of the device here where there's the black Wi-Fi button. We're going to press that. You're going to see the LED change from green to blue. And since we haven't set up this device with our home network yet, it's going to create its own Wi-Fi network right now. And we're going to connect to that just for the initial setup. Once your LED light is changed from flashing blue to solid blue, the Wi-Fi is connected. If we go ahead and we click on our Wi-Fi connections and windows, we're going to see that we have a Doxy network and that's the name of our scanner. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to click that. We're going to say connect. And unfortunately, we're going to lose our internet connection at this point, but that's part of the setup process. So now we'll see that it's connected to that network. It does mention that we have no internet. We're going to open our Doxy application, which we've installed. So go ahead and open that. So as you can see, when I open the software, it sees the scanner that we're connected to. This is how you would connect to the scanner to download scans via Wi-Fi if you were in a place where you did not have a personal router available. We want to set it up so that it's connecting to our router so we don't have to constantly switch networks when we're trying to import scans off the Doxy. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to Edit, Preferences. Under Preferences, go ahead and click on Wi-Fi. You're going to see the Doxy here and you can actually click the Configure button. The Configure button will bring up this dialog. You can change your name, which also doubles as your uh, wireless network name. I'm going to leave that because I don't have any particular preference. But what then you're going to want to do is click Add Network. The Doxy is going to actually use its Wi-Fi to search for net your networks that are available. Select your home network. This is mine in this situation. And enter your passphrase. Once your passphrase has been entered, you can click Test Network. And it's going to try to connect to the network. Doxy will automatically disconnect you from its personal wireless network. So what essentially happened there was when we clicked connect, the scanner connected to our wireless network, disconnected us from its wireless network, and now we're reconnected to the home wireless, but we can see the scanner. And the reason is that the scanner is successfully connected to the home network. So essentially that's all there is to the setup. Now every time you press the Wi-Fi button on your scanner, 
if it is within range of your home wireless network, it will connect to that network and you'll be able to import scans off of it. If it's not in range, it will create its own network like it did when we first turned it on. And you'll then be able to connect to that wireless network. That's all that's involved in connecting to your home network using the Doxico Wi-Fi scanner. I hope this video is useful for some people. Please leave your comments and questions below and thanks for watching.